Today is December the 17th, 2014. I've been doing this documentary since September of 2006. The documentary is about racism in the judicial system in the prison industry in the state of Illinois and the state of Maryland. I showed the uh, the public defenders how they work with the state's attorney to enslave the black community. I showed that black lives matter. Tyrone West, Anthony Anderson, Eric Garner. I've been showing the death and the murder of black men in Illinois and Maryland since 2006. I turned it into the Baltimore City Police Department, Commissioner Belfield. I turned it into the I-Team Report, Barry Sims, Jane Miller, Richard Scher, Mike Hsu, Adam May. I let everybody know what I was doing, but I was locked up in two states for doing this. So this is the material that I'm going to show you. This goes from President Obama to Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake to Mayor Sabanchin to the Chief of Police in Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Waukegan, Illinois. Shows how the state's attorney and the public defenders work to deny due process and equal protections under the law. And I wrote President Obama and Obama asked for a full investigation. So we're going to do this. This is Eric Holder, all right, in 2009. And this was from May 26, 2008. Like I said, I was making a documentary about racism in the judicial system. This is President Obama. That's President Obama. That's me. I'm an inmate. That's my inmate number. That's the United States Senate. It says, please allow 30 to 60 days for this agency to respond. The agency never responded. This is the Judge Boris. And this was in 2010, 2008, when I got out of jail. Care of Governor O'Malley, Governor Quinn, Judge Bell, Mr. Snowden, Attorney General, Civil Rights Division, Patrick Fitzgerald, Attorney General, Lisa Madigan, the Chicago Office of the FBI, the Washington, D.C. Office of the FBI, the NAACP Civil Rights Division, Senator Cardins, Head Commissioner of the World Court and Human Civil Rights and the Constitutional Rights of the World Community, Congressman Cummings and Congressman Jackson. Congressman Jackson in jail. And this was legal because it's notarized. This is the Chief Justice Roberts. 2013. And what I was doing was I'm making a documentary about racism in the judicial system. Lisa Madigan. That's the case number in Illinois. Alright. And that's Senator Barbara Mikulski's office. Now this is the evidence that I was supposed to receive from the state of Illinois, right there. That's the case number, and that material was supposed to be returned to me in January of 2010. All right, long before I got locked up in 2011. This is Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake because she has a DVD explaining all of this. She has evidence exposing all of this. It was about the politicians and the police department and how they treat blacks in Maryland and in Illinois. It tells us about the prison industry and death. That's the IRS because I asked for an audit. I put this toilet on North Avenue in January of 2010. I mean January 2011. It was there for a long time. Never locked me up and the United States Marshals has this toilet. Read the story from Fern Chen. On February the 7th, 2011, I was locked up for putting a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. It was about the prison industry. And that toilet represented Governor O'Malley, Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, Jake Davis, James Hammond. I went to Spring Grove Medical Hospital because y'all tried to say I was crazy, lost my mind. That's Adam May. Adam May did an hour interview, an hour and a half interview, and you only played three minutes of the tape. That interview named the Governor O'Malley and the officials involved in the corruption and how you use the mental facilities in the prison industry to enslave our people. These are the elected officials that have full knowledge of my situation, full knowledge. And this is evidence for this case. James Roshini, Moynihan Zirkin, Gladden, McIntosh, Branch, McFadden, Jill P. Carter, Joan Conway. These people have direct knowledge. Alright? And Jay Wendell Sutton had the video to 
to prove all of this. While I was in jail, that's Frank Conway. Frank Conway had the evidence to deal with these cases. That's Judge Pearson, because like I said, I named judges, lawyers, I named everybody who was involved. That's Judge Turnbull. And the Attorney General from the state of Maryland never did the investigation. That's the Attorney General from the state of Maryland. That's Mr. Paul Ballard. And right here it says, I did not conduct an investigation of the issues you previously raised about your treatment in the Baltimore County Detention Center. All right. You also made the following statement in your handwritten note, all records and complaints from Spring Grove Hospital. Spring Grove refused to give me the material back. And this is what I sent Mr. Ballard. It was a letter from the Department of Justice dated October 16, 2014. Because like I said, I want to bring closure to all this. It gives me a case number. That's my case number. And I'm supposed to have it with him within 60 days. They're supposed to give me a response. December the 26th is 60 days. So I'm doing this as part of my federal investigation to turn Governor O'Malley in and the dirty Democrats here in the state of Maryland concerning the prison industry. This is a videotape evidence for the Department of Justice to fully investigate Governor O'Malley, Commissioner Belfield, Stephanie Rollins-Blake, the Baltimore Sun, WJZ-13, WBAL, Fox 45, and ABC2. Because the movie was about how you use the media to tell these lies to the people and inflame the people. Tyrone West, Anthony Anderson, Maurice Donald Johnson, the people murdered here in Maryland by the police department, ain't no different than Mike Brown and Eric Garner. Except I made a movie about it long before this happened. And our public officials got to do something about it. Ain't no law against making a movie. It is a law against locking me up illegally. You violated my rights under the Constitution. You knowingly lied to the grand jury. You refused to submit evidence to the grand jury. You refused to tell the grand jury the truth that I was making a movie. You refused to tell the grand jury that those toilets represent our government. I was potty training politicians. Like I said, my freedom of speech, my freedom of assembly, my freedom to protest, and Governor O'Malley is the one that the protest was about. He used his powers to, to lock me up for a crime I didn't commit. And he used Schellenberger and Bernstein and a state attorney in Illinois named Waller. Now you can go to Tammy Brown and get all this information, the records department. You can go to the Baltimore Sun. You can go to the Baltimore Brew. You can go to everybody that I named in these paperwork, in this paperwork. I'm looking for justice. I want my life back. This is part of getting my life back.